guys welcome back all right so this is my second installation and today i want to try something that i've been seeing floating around on instagram is this plastic nail technique but i want to try it a little bit different i want to try using a combination of hard gel and acrylic uh yeah so let's just get into it so I went ahead and I prepped my nail. I placed on a small or a thin layer of clear. So now I'm gonna take my mixing palette and I'm gonna mix some gel color with the clear hard gel. Place that on the tip of the nail, take my ceramic wrap and my my stencil thing, whatever that is. You know the brush that you use for doing poly gel. So my poly gel brush and just make grooves and rough edges in there then I'll take the lamp and I'll cure that for 60 seconds once that is done I'm going to gently peel back the ceramic wrap because I wasn't even sure if this was going to work so I didn't know that the plastic wasn't going to stay but it did so I'm going to take this chrome powder that I got from um, Miro Miro in halfway tree but you can get this on Amazon it's just strictly gold I wasn't sure how this was going to work either because you know like I said it's all new to me but I took it and I placed it in all the grooves I try to get as much of it in all of the cracks and crevices and I think after this I, I'm not sure don't quote me but I think I went ahead and I placed a little bit of gel top coat on there to seal in the chrome after this I'm gonna go in with a small bead it has to be runny all right a small bead of my cover pink or my cover peach and I'm just going to do a small cuticle to apex fade, nothing too much. I don't want to use large beads and fill in the purposes of this cracked nail situation. Oh, by the way guys, I have a new hand. I know I said in the last video that we should name the other hand, but she was truly stiff and I was having a hard time moving her. So I got this new hand and uh she gives us trouble but nothing out of the ordinary we'll sort her out so i'm i'm still doing the whole small beads uh so my liquid to ratio um, powder ratio here is is not on point because i don't want it to be i want it to be like a filler bead and then that will help me to you know make it as flat as possible because this nail is already bulky to, to in my estimation so i'm going to go in with my clear acrylic now Oops, you saw that? Mm, too runny. So I'm going to take another bead and I'm going to just push it into the crevices first, allowing the bead to run into all the little nooks. Not brushing it too much because I don't want to use, I don't want to um, move the chrome powder. So I'm going to take another bead and I'm just going to encapsulate that. Once again, I'm using a size 14 brush, and I got this from Glamour Nails here in Jamaica Crossroads. And I believe I'm using their monomer as well. It has no odor, like I don't smell anything. And I've used some potent monomers before. So here's where I have some problems with this hand that has no name yet. Sis B just be robing and just popping her nail up just in a second watch her well just watch how she gonna do this I'll be going first of all just do my sidewalls as best as I can without her popping off like that and um, get all those cracks because you know we did make a whole lot So now I'm going to go in with my fine grit, safety grit, and I'm just going to smooth the surface of the nail. If she would just stay on, you know what I'm saying? Right? So we just want to do that. I might switch my bit out to my medium grit because I just feel like it works faster, but I didn't want, the, want to run the risk of just debulking the whole nail. That is not the point. Yeah, so I did actually switch to my medium grip. And I think I'm going around 
10,000 RPMs. Let me know also if this angle is good. I'm still trying out the different angles. I'm not sure which one I like the most, but I'm trying. So I think I went ahead and I cleared this just nail off, dust it off, give it a nice little swipe with my alcohol, and I'm gonna go in my top coat and reveal what I've done because this is also very new to me. I've never tried this before. And I've never tried this, I've never seen anyone do this with this particular so technique, so we'll see. I did try another method, it came out way better just using gel, but I just wanted to see how it would work with acrylic. So we're going to pop this in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then we're done. Sorry guys, I was trying to focus. Camera would not focus, but we got there in the end. So thank you so much guys for watching my second installation. Um, I did speed this one up a little bit, but I can slow it back down for those who want me to do so or we just make a hybrid i don't know but thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel thumbs up so that you know 